Hey everybody, it's me again. Uh, day two of making comics. Of day two of 100 of making comics, I should say. Um, I've actually been really excited to post this video. Um, thank you for everyone who's watched so far. Um, I was actually really overwhelmed just by the people who've watched it and commented and liked it. Um, it was really cool. I wasn't expecting sort of so many people uh, to check it out, even people I don't know. So that was really cool. Um, so a little update on yesterday, uh, I've been thinking about it's probably easier for me to talk about the stuff that I've done the day before, um, because of my schedule it's usually I'll probably do this video blog um, when I get home from work um, and then I can just talk about what I did yesterday. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, yesterday I did uh, a little bit of work on The Legend of Rock, um, so just trying to stick with you know at least 30 minutes to half an hour every day. Um, so that's what I did. I had a little bit of client work to do, so I did 30 minutes on Rock um, because page two was um, uploading today. Um, I had to make a few edits um, to the pages, so I got in the e my email from our letterer um, page two and three. So I had to make some changes to that. Um, had to f make a few little banners and things like that just to touch it up, and um, I wasn't quite happy with how it looked overall um, with the lettering. So um, hey, let me turn this around here, it's sort of getting annoying holding it up. Um, there we go, that's better. Hello! Um, so, yeah, I wanted to just put a few little banners in, little titles, because um, I didn't feel like the page was strong enough. Um, I mean, I'm, I, can't, I wouldn't say I'm a really good comic artist yet, I'm still really practicing a lot, but, you know, I'm learning and there's just things I like to you know, try out and just see if they work. Um, because if I don't try it, I won't know, and then people won't tell me if I'm doing the wrong thing. So, rather, you know, instead of safe than sorry, I'd rather be sorry to be safe later. Um, if that makes sense, it kind of sounds a bit dorky, but um, yeah, you know what I mean. So, I probably spent half an hour on that, um, uploaded it to the website, and um, this is also the first time testing out whether or not the website will allow me to post um, post things in advance and use a timer so um, it can post on my behalf when I'm not around. So that makes it a lot easier for me to keep a regular schedule for posting every Tuesday, um, which is the plan. Um, the Legend of Rock um, is a weekly comic. Uh, so I haven't really spoken too much about it, I don't think. Um, yeah, it's a weekly comic uh, which uploads every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Um, so this is really just a test to see how the book's going. The first book we did was in print. Um, which is a lot of fun and we did really well. We actually sold it out of our first print run of 200 books and we're already halfway through, I'm pretty sure, um, of our second print run, which is awesome because um, we've done quite a few conventions around Australia. Um, by, by we, I mean me and the writer Matt Nichols. Um, so, actually, you know what? I'll talk about The Legend of Rock for a second. Um, the way it all started was I came up with these character, design, character ideas last year and um, I suck as a writer. Um, at least I feel that I do. Um, something I'd love to do in the future, but I didn't really have time to work on my writing skills, so I approached someone else, which was Matt. Um, someone I've always wanted to work with for quite a while, and I showed him an email and said, hey man, I've got this story idea, what do you think? So we got together and sort of fleshed it out, and then The Legend of Rock sort of came about. Um, we managed to get ourselves onto a, uh, onto a comic book launch in earlier this year in April, um, the Big Ass launch. Um, with about, I think it was seven to ten other books. So it was quite a big event. And so it really gave us a deadline. I thought, okay, I've got to get this comic book finished. So we did 15 pages plus covers plus um, layouts plus extra pages. Um, and I only had two months to do it. So it was a massive push for me to really just make a comic, get it out there, and, you know, done. Uh, and then continue on from there and just keep doing more pages. And I got really lazy after that point, uh, working on a few other little client projects plus work, um, and just relaxing because I was exhausted. Because um, we did a whole bunch of conventions just after that as well. Um, so I'm finally just getting myself into gear now, back on the pages. So we're only on page two, and it's been a little bit of a struggle for me. Not that I admit it before, um, but just keeping that motivation going. So I'm really hoping this is one thing that'll really keep that alive for me. Um, so yeah, here we are. So me and Matt are still working on the book. Um, he's actually just emailed me the script for issue two, and we're already working on issue three. So it's a book that we're going to keep going with uh, for ages. Um, 
you know, we're just still in the early stages and after we did the print, we thought, let's do this as a webcomic because we'd like people to have something regularly. Um, being independent artists, we can only really bring a book out every three to four months, which sucks because um, in comparison to, you know, say The Big Two, for example, that's a lot, they're bringing out a lot of books and creating a lot of interest all the time which leaves us behind because we release a book people have to wait three months before the next book because we're only a small team and then people forget about us until the second book comes out you know we lose followers we might gain a few followers but we just sort of didn't i, I didn't personally like the idea of that so as a webcomic um not only are we reaching out to a wider audience but we're still keeping the current audience entertained with new content all the time uh and then when it's finished we can bring it out in print um, and share it with more people who've never heard of it or don't use the internet or just don't like webcomics. Because um, I never used to really like webcomics until I started doing this. Um, and now I read quite a few more, which is, you know, cool. I'm reading more comics, that's awesome. Um, and more from independent artists, which is what I, I want to support more of independent artists like myself because, you know, if I don't do it, who will? Um, and hopefully you guys will too. So, support independent artists, um, read webcomics, comment on them, tell people that you like their stuff. Um, you don't just have to read, you know, the big two, because there's heaps more cool stuff out there. Uh, anyway, that's my little rant for um, independent publishing and all that. Um, and I also want to talk to you a, a little bit about myself, because um, I noticed I didn't say a lot um, in yesterday's post. Uh, this one's kind of dragging on, so I'll try and keep it quick. I think I've only got about three minutes left. Um, I'm also saying I'm a lot, so I'm going to work on that. So here's me working on saying I'm less in these posts. Okay, future Chris. Cool. I nearly said it again. <laughs> uh, okay, so um is something I need to just completely wipe from my vocabulary because I nearly, apparently can't do it. It feels like such an ugly word too, you know, once you sort of realise you say I'm a lot and you're like, ugh. But you can't help yourself. Kind of like girls who say like, you know, like, like, oh my god, um, like, oh god, um, like, that's awkward. Yes, so, me. I work full time, like I mentioned yesterday, in an art supply store, which is cool, kind of keeps my drive going a little bit, and also inspires me to try different things. Uh, so this year I've been working with watercolours a bit more, um, a lot more marker work, which is fun, and also a little bit of acrylic painting on canvas, which I haven't done in years, so awesome, fun. I highly suggest that like, if you're a digital artist, just have fun with traditional mediums again. Um, I know it kind of sounds dumb because most of the stuff I do now is digital, but you just can't beat a pencil and a paintbrush and, you know, just really getting messy and having fun, you know? Um, yeah, so aside from all that, like I do all this work outside of work and I probably spend three to four hours a night just sitting on the computer working on the things I want to work on and I'm always having crazy ideas and wanting to do all these creator own projects and the only one that's really stuck so far is The Legend of Rock and a game that I can't mention yet but uh, you will see a lot of stuff on that soon um, there's that word again aside from all that I want to use this as a gateway to become a freelance artist I want to do this full time so this journey, this 100 days, is also going to be a look into me trying to achieve that as well. Because look, I don't hate my job. I love my job. And I love most of the people I deal with. I work in retail. I actually get to work with some really cool people and meet lots of cool people too. Uh, I've probably met some of the most famous Australian fine artists um, out there. And, you know, I can consider them you know, acquaintances now. Um, I could call them up and say, hey, how you doing? And that's really cool. But I'd much rather be sitting at home behind my desk just drawing pictures and um, ultimately just drawing what I want to draw. But, um, you know, loading up with client work and just working for them would be awesome. So this is probably my journey there. And hopefully it, hopefully it happens. I'd, I'd really like to see that. Um, anyway, I'm going to go. I'm cutting it really close. Um, I'm going to go have some dinner and then I'm going to go draw some pictures. Um, got a little bit of client work on tonight, uh, so I'm going to try and at least get half an hour to an hour in on rock. Uh, I've got to lay out um, the next four pages, uh, so hopefully I can nut that out and that will be my contribution to tonight. Uh, otherwise, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, stay cool. Bye.